All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna to be doing a radiator meltdown part two. This video is probably going to be just as long as the other one. So for your convenience, I am going to put chapters in the video so you can fast forward to exactly the point that you would like to see. Unlike before, where you could be scrolling, 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 scrolling. Yep, oh, no, that's not the spot. Let me scroll a little bit further. Yeah, 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 that's the one. I'm putting chapters to make it easy for you. So today, what am I gonna make? Well, let's find out what I'm gonna make. I think this is what I'm gonna make today. And today, because it's the outside of the radiator, it's gonna be solid brass. The inside was a mixture of copper and brass. So let's get right to it. I probably should mention to you guys, this is a homemade pattern if you were wondering. I made this out of three quarter inch wood. Let's get to it. All right guys, here we are again, back at the vise. In order to fit these radiator ends into the crucible easily, I'm using the vise to smash the heck out of them and crumble them over just to get them to fit into the crucible. All right, guys, for today's cast, it's going to be a one part mold. I'm going to do a open pour mold for this cast. I'm gonna start by putting some talcum powder on top of the pattern so the sand does not stick to it. Then I'm gonna riddle on some sand onto the pattern to capture all the detail as possible. And then fill the remainder of the mold with sand. I have different ways of removing the patterns from their molds, but for this one, I'm going to be using a set of crucible tongs to bang the pattern back and forth using a screwdriver and the tongue to loosen the pattern for removal. After loosening the pattern, I'm going to be using two three inch screws and gently remove the pattern by pulling upward.
All right, guys, it's all cleaned up, 3.8 pounds. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I think it came out fantastic. It's got a great shine to it. If you like this kind of stuff, please consider subscribing and stay tuned for the next video. See ya.